stitches classification of stitches joining stitches miss lupita has agreed to show jim the practical needlework now that jim has some background knowledge on sewing tools and equipment this is how it goes you are a persistent boy jim i can't believe you want to learn the actual needlework i really want to make the t-shirts besides i am paying for it so the more i learn the better i get it anyway to learn how to sew you must first learn about stitches a stitch is a single loop of thread or yarn on a fabric in english please this simply means that when you work a threaded needle in and out of a fabric what you get is a stitch now stitches are classified into two major categories temporary stitches and permanent stitches hmm. i will take a wild guess that temporary stitches are used to hold the fabric temporarily to ensure accuracy when the actual stitching will be done you are good with guesswork that is very right these stitches are removed once the permanent ones are made so they should not be too tight i once saw a tailor mm -hmm. making some long running kind of stitch to hold some piece of cloth together i just don't know how they are called that stitch you saw is called tucking or busting it should be done in a contrasting color with the fabric so that it is easy to identify and remove afterwards interesting go on thread markings are used to mark pattern lines such as fitting lines and pleat lines using a double thread so this means that the actual pattern will follow the path of the thread marking precisely tailor stacking serve almost the same function only that they are used to mark positions of darts button holes and pockets and uh, why are they called tailor's stockings i thought you'd take a wild guess it is simply because they are mostly used by tailors great now show me how these stitches are made patience we also have the permanent stitches oh i almost forgot that i will need some stitches to hold the t-shirts in place permanently exactly my point These stitches are grouped according to their functions. We have the joining stitches, the stitches for knitting row edges, and the embroidery stitches. Elaborate, please. Joining stitches are used to permanently sew the fabric together. Under this category, we have uh, the running stitch. Wait a minute. You mean running like what our athletes do? Jim, if you continue interrupting like this, We will never finish this discussion. Anyway, as I was saying, running stitches are made by basically passing the needle in and out of the fabric. Mm. More of the thread is seen on the upper side of the fabric than the downside. It is also known as the straight stitch. Great. No more mentioning of athletes. But how is this different from tacking? The difference is in the color of the thread hmm. and the length of each stitch. Otherwise, everything else is the same. Running stitches are made using the same color of thread as the fabric. The other one is called the back stitch. I know back stitch. My mother uses it to mend my clothes. Oh, really? Then tell me about it. All right. I know that it is done on the wrong side of the garment mm -hmm. from the right side to the left and uh, the stitches overlap. Nice. And to add to that, less thread is seen on the right side of the garment when the work is done. Next is oversewing, which are stitches used to join two folded edges together. These stitches must be close together and must pass through the two folded edges. Hey, are you dozing? No. Nope. I was trying to imagine how these stitches will look like. Don't worry. We are going to work them practically after this, except the machine stitch. 
And uh, that is because the machine stitches are made by a sewing machine, right? Right. They are made such that the pattern looks alike on both sides of the fabric. Interesting. Can you show me one of your works, uh, Miss Lupita? Next time you visit a tailor, ask her to show you one. We still have fagoting to discuss. Fagoting. This is an embroidery stitch that is used to join two edges decoratively. My goodness. It sounded like some worm or even a disease. Now you know better. The two edges to be joined must be held together firmly and fixed on a cardboard or manila paper to facilitate evenness of the stitches. Enough of joining stitches. Let us now talk about the stitches you will need to make your raw edges neat. Hey, aren't we going to take a break? Like grab some coffee? You see, you were dozing. That's unfair. I got everything you say. Okay, coffee it is. We can discuss the others as we sip. Mm-hmm.